scientific research has led to a breakthrough in Greenland. New discoveries show Greenland's glacial ice is flowing out to sea at an alarming rate. Old models that used Antarctica as a baseline are now way off the mark. Greenland's glaciers are melting 100 times faster than previously calculated. According to a new model, taking into account the unique interaction between ice and water at the island's fjords. This new model, using mathematical representation of glacial melt, factors and observations of how ice is eaten away from the vertical faces on the ends of Greenland glaciers. Previously, scientists used models developed in Antarctica, where glacial tongues float on top of seawater, a very different arrangement. For years, researchers used the melt rate model for Antarctic floating glaciers, and applied it to Greenland's vertical glacial faces. But there is more and more evidence that the traditional approach produces far too low of a melt rate at Greenland's vertical glacier fronts. Researchers already knew their Antarctic based understanding of Arctic glaciers was not a perfect match. But it's hard to get close to the edges of Greenland's glaciers, because they're situated at the ends of fjords. Greenland's fjords are long narrow inlets of seawater, flanked by high cliffs on both sides. The glaciers line these steep cliffs and protrude beneath the waves. The warmer seawater undercuts the ice. This leads to dramatic calving events, causing chunks of ice the size of buildings to crumble into the water without warning, creating mini tsunamis. The team of researchers has been using robotic boats to get close to these dangerous ice cliffs and take measurements. They've done this at Alaska's Laconi Glacier, as well as Greenland's Kangerla Supsermia. An upcoming mission led by scientists will send robotic subs to the faces of three West Greenland glaciers. Researchers' measurements suggest that the Antarctic based models massively underestimate Arctic glacial melt. Lakoni, for example, is disappearing 100 times faster than models predicted. The mixture of cold fresh water from the glaciers and the warmer ocean seawater drives ocean circulation near the glaciers and farther out in the ocean leading observers to speculate the far-reaching implications. The Greenland ice sheet is also important for sea level rise. Greenland ice holds enough water to raise sea levels by about 20 feet, or 6 meters. The new model uses the latest data from near-glacial missions along with a more realistic understanding of how the steep, cliff-like faces of the glaciers impact ice loss. The results are consistent with Jackson's findings, showing 100 times more melt than the old models predicted. Ocean climate model results are highly relevant to predict trends associated with a changing climate. This was a very important step for understanding our climate and our habitats better. To have more understanding to how our world is changing, and no matter how much we try, we cannot truly understand it. Though we can become better at predictions, Mother Nature has her way of stepping outside of the box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for the newest content. Leave a comment, give us a suggestion about our next video. If your idea is chosen, I'll give you a shout out at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching.